In this video, learn how to open camera after click on a button. You can do it with CSAP script easily. Just copy and paste, that's it. Or use it with Visual Scripting. You can stop and make camera invisible too. And how to publish it to Android. First, create a raw image to display anything that camera captures. Name it Camera Error. Remember to set up the scale size of Canvas UI. This will fix the wrong UI position on bigger devices. Move Camera Error to Center and set its size 400 by 300. Next, create a button to start the camera. Name it Start Camera Button. Set its size bigger and add it to the center of the screen too. Next, create an empty object. Name it Camera Manager. Add a new C script on Camera Manager. Name it Camera Manager 2. Open it. You can download this C sharp code with link under video. Just copy all the code. And paste it to our C sharp script. It requires a namespace to use some UI components. All done, you can test it now. I will explain all the code later. You need to add a raw image and a button to our variables. Then connect your phone to test it. Open Remote. You can see your phone name here and follow my settings. You can press play to test it now. Click button Start Camera. Camera will work and show to the screen. It worked perfect. You can set its full screen by changing size raw image object. It is full screen. Now I will explain all the code for you. We have a button to start the camera and three other variables. Webcam texture is everything back camera is capturing. Raw image is where to display the photos from camera. Texture is photo or sprite from camera. It will be used for raw image component. At start, we add the button click event. Every time button is click, function open camera will be called. First, it will get all back and front cameras to variable devices. If your device has no camera, it will stop the function. Next, 
for loop event to check all the cameras. If it is not a front camera, it will be a back camera. Then we add a back camera to our variable back cam. If we cannot find any back cameras, exit this function. If we got the back camera, play event to open camera and display it on raw image. Select Camera Manager. Then add new visual scripting script. Name it Camera Manager or any names you like. You can download this script free under video. Open it. Copy these events. Paste to our script. Let's add name of button Start Camera into the button event. Add one more object variable, name it background, it is where to display the camera. It will be object camera area. All done, you can delete this old script, then connect your phone to test it. Open remote. You can see your phone name here and follow my settings. You can press play and test it now. Click on button Start Camera. It will open the camera. It worked perfect. Next, let's learn how to make it by yourself. First, add some variables. Name it Button Start. This is the button to start camera. Another is raw image background where to display the camera. Add raw image camera area into Open our script. We have the C sub script that is used to open camera. First, create a graph variable back cam. With type is Webcam Texture. Next, create variable Default Background. With type is Texture. After the button is clicked, we will call Custom Event Open Camera. Let's use On Pointer Down to get the button clicked. Input this will be the button Start Camera. If button is clicked, trigger a custom event. Name it Open Camera. First, set variable default background is our raw image textures. Next, let's get all back and front cameras to variable devices.
if no cameras show a message, no camera detected. We're going to check all cameras to see which one is a back camera. Use for loop to check it. All cameras will be added in variable devices. Variable devices will have type webcam device. And we use it to check event is front-facing camera. This event is not existed because we don't have not webcam device. Let's add it to our Visual Scripting nodes. Now let's try it again. If this is not a front camera, so it will be a back camera. Create new webcam texture for this variable backcam. It will have device name. Width will be screen width. And height will be the screen height. If there is any back camera, we can exit this loop event right away. If no back camera is found, so a message. Call event play to open camera. Last thing is display everything from back camera to our raw image texture. All done. 
you can understand how you use raw image and webcam texture now. Connect your phone and press play. It will work the same we did earlier. Duplicate this button. Rename it Stop Camera. Put it to a variable to call it easier. Open our script. Duplicate button event. And button stop camera into this one. Create new custom event stop camera. Use webcam texture stop to stop camera. Add current camera need to stop in. Press button, camera will stop. But I want it return to a white background. To do it, you need to set current texture to none again. Set raw image texture to none. Select our raw image. Add component aspect ratio filter. Set it fit in parent. Open our script again. Let's fix ratio to get full screen when the game is loaded. This ratio value will be screen width divided by screen height. If you press play, it will be full screen. You can make our raw image or camera invisible by changing this alpha value to 0. We're going to show raw image again after button start camera. Change raw image color to white. Copy this. We're going to make camera invisible after stop camera button. All done. Press play. After you press button, camera will be played in full screen now. Button stop camera, camera will be invisible and play it again when you press start camera. Let's try to publish and test it on an Android phone.
important thing is in order settings. You must add the package name. You can use any names you like. Change the scripting back end. And turn on this value. Last thing, at the key store. If you don't have any key store, click here to create one. It's very easy. Just enter your name and password. If you already have key store, select here to add it in. Enter your password. You can press build now. It works perfect on my phones.